show, huh? edition of Oguta Magic today and I am absolutely totally happy to be standing right here in front of you and giving you entertainment in an absolutely magical way and my name is Piccolonia and my homeboy here is of course Pluto you know call me an amateur one no faster planets Pluto point of correction okay, here is about three <laughs> <laughs> and today we are going to be discussing a very very interesting and important topic in our society today would you love your wife to be um, a housewife or would you want her to work okay. all right before we continue with that let's take um, this break and we'll be right back to treat this issue on hotel magic stay Do tuned, stay tuned. Check. We know they make mouths, so we know fit back up. Check. We not mates, what the f you saying? What's up? Check. I don't blame these little worms where they try rhyme. Spray your hair, skinny jeans, very little manners. We gonna chop you down like piranhas. Just in case nobody wants you, I flush you. Down with the rest of my pool, don't be a waste. Juvenile, slow the F down, kill the haste. For your mighty one hammer like whiskey, that be. Check shirts with the color glasses, you dumb kid. I see the jack try to study your jam. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want me, I know, but I'm married in that time Just let it go, the way you wrap your body Got me ready to go, right there outside Baby, are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, say yeah Baby, are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, say yeah Oh, yeah, sorry, make me the go Yeah, yeah, say yeah Baby, are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, say yeah Oh, yeah, sorry, make me the go on a march up on a march up on a on a march up on a if you look where's on a march up on a on a march up on a on a march up on a if you look where's on check I never shine teeth only when necessary sign checks make moves pay my staff right I can spit it in English and Igbo my catchphrase can turn it black to a bino my catchphrase can do my crazy kako boko my catchphrase it's a bunker volcano my catchphrase I never party much but I go try to follow you Twitter Twitter for the gossip I don't mind the false life everybody's posing a list blackberry contacts longer than your IQ Illy never psych you Illy just to tell you Chappy I'm so Igbo looking for the Next deal, walk through the fit crowd, keep my team so proud. Me no really send you, me go just let the whole album offend you. He'll listen, be no. Recently, when the circle guard the top, <laughs> security men are need a quick take present interview again you know, <laughs> to avoid stories at touch. Uh, as it be now, now they make sense, especially for our security. They need a degree apply package. Why you need the help? Uh, I carry my motor recently. I say, Mark, I go make some kind of chopping and some chopping, say, you know. <laughs> I don't enter a hungry home, and I enter Mr. Biggs. As I enter Mr. Biggs, I ask them, what, what food do you have? Um, and I would like to take some food. I say, I oh, got food, don't finish. The ones when they are nana for vegetarians. I say, okay, get me, get me, get me some. They bring oh, elusive syndica, gracilia, elephantitis, you know, those, <laughs> those kind of things. I had no choice, I just they eat. They eat, oh, they eat it. Eh. Peacefully now it finish pay come out. As I enter motor, bah. Come to drive, you know, flex it things. 
Now reach middle of journey. I can't notice my belly don't give me some sign. Olushe who obasajo atiku abubaka. I say, for my own motto, and that time I threw him a town. I had to wind up the whole glass one day my my vehicle. That you know freely I have received. I can't they donate. <laughs> they donate it is my my own vehicle. Who to come fool? I say, what I do? As I don't reach around Wardra Junction, those policemen, what they did there? Police, he so don't me talk, I'm on a person, I'm not talk. So those ones, they stand around that area. You know, police these days, they need to even want to know what they happen. They just, hey, where you? Stop there. Now they stop my vehicle. They tell Oga. Oga, what are they pass through inside this motor now? Eh? If you enter, come join me. Now your own problem. You know what you say? Hey, stop there, come on. Before you know, you don't put moto. Pra! Me! For like two minutes, we police my entire moto. I notice any they talk. <laughs> you know they talk. Let's see when I hear now. You look me. Oga. Now which fuel they use? I said, not before, I'm not dessert. I'm not dessert. Eh. Oh yeah, open the door. I want to come down. I saw Garata when I entered. Now it's in lock. Now I add grandma. Please uh, open the door seriously. I want to come down seriously. Now I saw Garata, you entered seriously. The door locked seriously. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. No touch the dial. And I still old town magic. Over to Pluto and uh, V Colonia. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Prince Why? Give it oh, up. Yeah, yeah, give it up. Boza, boza, yes, boza. Yeah. You need to tell us a joke about our guy at the top. Oh, you are guy at the top. Think confuse me when you talk and say, I'm like, what's up, man? What do you mean? You know, for them, man. Now, Prince Why is the guy that's a maga. I don't maga. No, if I say that, I will give up. I will report, I will tell now. <laughs> anyway. Let, let me ask you this thing. I'm dull, she? Uh, yeah, so me dull. too. I'm dull, right? She got me offended. Uh, no, he and got she, me she, offended. <laughs> and we're going to fight right after this. She but anyway, we have to put our differences aside in order to entertain you. Concerning this issue, I would, I would prefer women to be at home. You know? Well, let us keep our personal <laughs> views aside first of all. And then, when we are done getting our Facebook comments, that, we will not give our own personal That's the reason views. why she's having wings, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course I'm going to be a looking smart. class lady. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, okay, you gotta right be now. sure of that. No, for now, I'm still scrolling. I'm All right, still let's, let's, let's take the comments. Okay. And what this first one is coming from Kendra Simon. And Kendra Simon is saying, I do not think anything is wrong with that. My reasons are women are supposed to be at home to take care of house and the children, if they have any. But with the situation in this country, the both parties will want to work to help the family. Okay, he actually has a point there. If yeah i think it does it he does, does have know? a point like he gave us he gave, he gave us two sides of it for him personally he would say yes the woman should sit down at home and what and work and take care of the family but um due to the situation in the country they both have to work in order to make ends meet so that the children are not, not but now let's talk about the the past you know those days of course um i i think the reason why the male folks would want to adopt this system is because of some uh, um, um, ills that happens in the matrimony, as in, in the family. Yeah, itself. speaking from experience. <laughs> I'm not married, <laughs> me, you know. But then, of course, I have parents, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so now I believe then. Uh, there is this... polygamous man. Did he marry lots of wives? Let's forget about that first. No, actually, because he's talking from experience, I can see. Okay, press post matter first. You understand? Those days, women show high sense of respect to their husbands. Mm. Okay. And I believe that's the reason why men of today would want their wives to. Uh, so are you trying to say? Are you trying to say now that if 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 the woman starts working, she's not still going to respect her husband? Mm, oh, somehow. He's not you know. sure. He's absolutely <laughs> not sure of what he's saying. I don't want to punch somebody. All right, so let's, all right. Let's let me, give him let, a me break. Not, let me not let me not talk about that. Then, and okay, take, of course, we'll be taking the second comment from Kelechi Henry King Odo, and he is saying it is not bad. Reason because of the circumstances surrounding our society today. Corruption, hardship, insincerity, all what may. You hardly see who to trust these days, most especially when she is beautiful and please, this is not a matter of jealousy. And if you are lucky to have a wife that can always control all manners of pressure from our society, then there is nothing bad in allowing her uh, work to work. Yeah, thank you. God gave Eve a mandate in the home. 
Mm-hmm. You understand? And um, women are, are, are supposed to be taking care of the household. Like what this man is saying right now, you know, by the time you start going out there, just like you right now, you know, everybody wants to start checking you. And if you're not strong enough, you want to get tempted, you know, you want to do some And that's exactly what Kelechi is saying. Yeah, He's saying yeah. if the woman is strong enough to withstand the pressures of the society, then the man should be able to, you know, allow his wife to work. <laughs> but it also depends on trust. If the man trusts his wife enough um, to know that she is capable of withstanding the pressures um, from society, especially from the men folks, then she should be able to work and sure. take care of the family. Well, that, that, um, that makes her a strong woman anyway. On right, her behalf, I'm congratulating her. I give my bow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this one is coming from Primus the Virus. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why he calls himself Primus the, the Virus. virus. Like. This guy looks so innocent. Well, down here at oh okay, a kind of compliment. Okay, let me skip it. Um speaking from two perspectives, the opposition and the supporter, a man will not want his wife to work because of fear of the unknown, just like what we stated. Outdoor phobia, e.g. insincerity, road accident and not focusing on the kids. Women of nowadays, if you give them one chance, <laughs> they will take ten chances. On other hand, how can an industrial uh, person be caged? Yeah. Oh boy, you they lose money, and you might need a, a aid later. And then he quoted in the Bible, Genesis, uh, the chapter book of Genesis, two, chapter two, verse eighteen, 18 says a woman should be uh, a helper. helper. But then he's he, he's trying to be uh, so conflicting here right now. No, Talking it, about actually, the, the good aspect and. Also the bad the, aspect. Mm, he's yeah. trying to be on both sides. He doesn't want to say, yes, definitely the woman should be at home. And he doesn't want to say, no, the woman should be at home. He's trying to give you reasons why it's good and why it's also bad. But he bad. just said something so spectacular. Here. Which is? Talking about when you give them one chance, they take ten chances. I think that's, he has a point there somehow. You know, women, they fly at times. You know, just like you. Why exactly does this man like tackling me like this? I, I, I am seriously not happy with what I'm hearing. I begin to regret why I brought up this topic anyway. Okay, okay, so good. <laughs> Let me take another one from Kendra Simon again. Now, okay, um, in the case of insincerity, any man that will want to cage his wife because of that will die young. Oops. Yes, women are supposed to be a helper to a man by taking care of the needs at home. But now, the women are doing 70 percent of everything having keys for the men at the same time feeding the family that's why they look older than their age because of the stress even more than what by who indicates from this comment she sounds very angry is kendra simon mm, a woman yeah of course she is, is she, she a married woman yeah a married woman okay let's just say she's absolutely speaking from experience, experience? Maybe, maybe at that moment you know she made the first post she she was mm, very very neutral there neutral. maybe this time around her husband must have done something wrong and she had to you know, <laughs> go online and tell her something like this yeah. anyway thanks for your sincerity in this particular one you uh, you that, that comment was actually from a married woman so if you're youth out there and you're about to get married, you get the learning lesson. But I, 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 I give it up to the women. You know, women are very strong. Uh, of course, because we the woman can control so many things. Exactly. You know, let it not get into your head anyway. All right. It's already into <laughs> my head. I don't need a man to tell me that I'm strong. I am strong, of course. <laughs> so it is encouraging for the wives to have something doing so that they can contribute to the well-being of the family. And because you are the manager and then of any establishment and then you bring that to the home, you become the boss. Believe me, believe you me, you definitely have problem with your husband. If the man is working, the woman is working, they are now run the family, they now share their duties. It will be lighter on both sides. And if you earn more than your husband, it doesn't make you more important than, than your husband. The woman is supposed to be in the house uh -huh, to take care of the house and the children. But because of uh, the situation of things in our country, then women are no longer staying in the house. A humble woman, whether you are working or not working, you should be humble to your husband. If a woman is left alone at home, they, they will be gossiping to the family. If she's a career woman, Encourage her. If she's a businesswoman, encourage her, thereby making your family to work the way you want it to be. Well, go to Germany. Yeah, Chancellor there is, is a woman and she's doing very well. Uh, assuming their husband has subjected them to being a full-time housewife, how would they contribute their own quota? You just listened to comments from people and uh, you had what they Ma had married, to say. Married, married people in total. Yeah. 
Um, this one is coming from Wanchuku um, Munachi, um, and she's saying, I think a woman should work because working helps them to meet and interact with people and also learn from them and also exchange ideas rather than being in the house and turn uh, and turn to see that they look at my wife will work or no matter how lucrative her job will be yes she must work the woman must work as a woman as long as you go to school gather certificates you must work if your husband is sit down they look my guy, divorce that man immediately. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to divorce wait, listen, this man if he asks me to tell him to sit down. Are you, home. are you advocating right now that I mean, you're telling ladies not to, to I mean, to go divorce or something? I mean, because they're not giving a chance to work or something. Is that oh, what you're come saying? Come on, a woman is not supposed I mean, that's wrong. to that's, be let, made let me, to feel let, totally inferior. Listen, let, let me go back to the biblical aspect again. You oh, know, gosh. the Bible stated that a woman ought to be under a man. In fact, if you're married, if you, I mean, if your husband tells you something, you just have to add, add her. Really? You understand? Really? If nah. he wants you not to work, and that's it. You only, what you need to do, you know, applying wisdom is to let him see reasons, the reason why you should work. Okay, maybe that's what that is. So, that's you don't need to, like, kind of want to, like, come to... No, we're not, we're not, I'm not I trying mean, to say the woman should, you know, be trying to correct be impression, you a know? boss yeah. or something. Uh, let, let, let me go back to a previous talk that we did when we talk about, um, the rightful age to get married <laughs> you know um the one who said age doesn't matter but maturity and compatibility right so and um if if actually if actually your husband says sit down at home and do not work you try to reason with him and make yeah, it serious yeah, yeah, why yeah. why don't mind me i was absolutely upset i don't like it no, i don't i don't like it when a man tries to emphasize too much authority on a woman Let me, totally no, whether you like it or not nature has it like that yeah nature has the it only like thing you that. have to do you just have to like talk to him just let him see reasons, that's all. Okay. You know, and once once he, he sees the point you're making... You don't have to blame me, I'm that. not married. He's speaking from experience. That's what I'm teaching you, that's what I'm teaching you. Yeah, that's what I say, speaking from experience. Yeah. So, you're not married. You're not married. encouraging divorce, you're okay? You're married. You're not, you're not encouraging that. Alright, <laughs> so I think I have one from Vivian Akwama. Well, it depends on the pocket of the man. If he can take care of her knees, the children, and even her uh, immediate families and relations, then let her be. But if on the other side he keeps on nagging, complaining, or even comparing with other women who works and contribute, then she should better start doing something. As for me, I got to work because that is why I went to school to study to enhance my productivity to the society. society. Yeah, Vivian Akwama is a married woman, I guess. Of course, my sister. Wow! Uh, my... She actually made a point that I needed to hear. If the man actually has enough money to take care of the family and take care of the woman, then um, I don't think she has any problem. It's just that um, most women, we don't, we don't like being idle. Just sit down and keep on depending on your man. Anytime you need money, you go. Even some men go to the extent of not even providing bank accounts. But I, I really want to give a big shout out to the ladies out there that are industrious. Of course, we're talking about this, but then, you know, when a, most ladies are lazy. Uh, uh, of course. Why so many of them out there, you know, they've gone to school, they can do something, but at the end of the day, they just want to sit sit back watching home videos and the rest you know i mean that's not encouraging yeah yeah you, you see today today this topic the, the topic we're doing today is a very very serious issue yeah we call this an entertainment program right sure. but this what this marriage thing is not entertaining we really 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 need to look deep into it yeah. because most men are not really what to think they are i want to get married you see on that side of the idea i have fire <laughs> Alright, you still on to Hotel Magic. And um, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. Go we have for a very, very interesting press post. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to. Actor, he's, he's not an actor. I said artist. Uh. Artist? Yes. No, they phone it too much now. You understand? He goes by the name Mecca anyway. You no know, all the way from New Jersey. In Nigeria, from Old Town, okay? Yeah, yeah. That's what you're going to be saying right now. Do not touch that segment. <laughs> I'm Mecca from Mechman Entertainment, based in New Jersey, in the States. But I'm originally from Oware. So, yes, it's good to be home. The Oware blood is still there, but you understand. So, I'll still be home away. So, there's no place like home. So, you know, man, them guys come out, conservating day. Actually, the name Mechman comes from both our names Mecca, which is me, and Menti. Menti is actually still in the States. He's in Vegas right now. Um, we've been doing tracks together for so long now. We decided like let's let's throw out single tracks out there, just give it a different dimension. So I came up with a song called Say Yeah. He came up with a track called Twist and Wine. So matter of fact, 
we released our tracks about the same time but i just happened to shoot my video first last year and his video is coming up coming up this year so you guys watch out for that it's going to be wild see i've performed all over i've performed in nigeria before but there's no place like home i mean oh they showed me too much love Matter of fact, I can't wait to come back. Star Nights, Star Nights was fun. It wasn't something I knew I was doing prior to coming in. But when I when I got that call, I couldn't pass on on that though because my chance now to make make my people know say uh, they are picking come house to see the maiden see waiting day. So uh, now I got my hapo while through her hole. So I think music is universal. It's not just it's not just one genre at all. So it's like it crosses across so many different things. So definitely, if I had the chance to like work with someone. I would jump on it in a happy. I mean, if I have to extend my trip to do that, I would jump on it, kid. Just wanna take you home, like a hummingbird. You out it screaming, no, yeah. Uh, it's, the home cooking is great. I mean, we they cook African food for Yankee, but nobody's saying to no place like home. Or what food it is, like, it's a very wonderful something. So, that's it. Uh, the food is one thing, the people, the culture, like getting a real taste of home. You know, not, not a mimicked home, not a pseudo home, if I may, but like, it's just been so much love hearing the local music, going to like local joints. Oh my god, not thinking of work the next day or studio. It's just been too much fun. I wish I was staying longer. Honestly, I, I just did those since I never come house. Right now, I actually have a track in the making called Let's Go. It's back to Mech Man. It's not just Mecca this time around, it's Mecca and Menti. Um, we, we did that in Lagos with a producer called D Tunes, and the track is wild. So, this summer, coupled with Menti's video, we're shooting a video for that also. So you guys watch out for that though. Music noisy, but my people, don't be discouraged though. If you have that passion and you're not just doing it just to get big, keep pushing. I know everyone wants to be signed, but the truth is, you can do it without being signed. Your talent will speak for itself. You know, if you have to do your groundwork, it's not always about money. It's about it's about quality. So if you like, with me, I, I, I don't really sit there worrying about like, oh, this label, that label, nah, just just do your thing, keep grinding. It's hard, it's not gonna be easy. I've been doing this since 06, but it gets better, it's fun. There's nothing like stepping on that stage and having thousands of people screaming your name, knowing your song, or going to a bar and hearing your joint playing, or or going somewhere and people are like, oh, wasn't you on that track, wasn't you on that track? Well, I would like to work with you. The same way I looked up to people, people look up to me, guy, hit me up, hit me up on, Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, search MechMan, M-E-C-M-E-N. I'll do a track with you. It won't cost you nothing. You know, do what you gotta do. Now, we gotta help each other. We are brothers. You can definitely do it, but you gotta have that desire. It can't be, can be a part-time thing. It can't just be something you're doing for kicks. You gotta be serious, you know? Hello and welcome to this segment, Magic Court, with me, Esther Iwabo your queen in this segment like every other court i have my constitution lined out for me and in this segment we are going to be weighing our movie music and fashion artists we either commend them sentence them or condemn them just like every other court does now i've been thinking who could we crown as the most craziest nigerian celebrity i have Fela and Nicola Pocuti, I have Weird MC and I have Charlie Boy. Most of you know who Charlie Boy is. He dresses like the most craziest person I've ever seen. I don't know about you. Look at this picture. Take a look at what you see him holding on his left hand. That's a skull, isn't it? I think it's a skull. Look at his fingers. He has a ring for every finger. Wow. Well, that's all I can see. You have your own take. You tell me what you think and who you think is the craziest person. The next person I have is Weird MC. Weird MC is actually a lady. Most of you don't know that. You see her dress and act like a guy. Look at this picture. Take a look at what she's wearing. She's wearing a very tall, mountainous headgear. Wow. And look at her hand posing like one guy like that. I real name is actually Adeshola Adesimbo Ito. I've given you that as well. Find out and see if you will choose her as the most craziest Nigerian celebrity. The last person I have is um, Fela. Maybe most of you didn't meet him. He's great, but I know you guys know him. 
fella comes to the stage with an underwear. Most times they say ladies go naked, but I wonder why nobody was talking about fella. Is he the craziest person? I'm up, um, but if you follow me, you know, say this is not a tough segment. If you follow me, we will finish this case, Trasha. Believe me, I am there and we will finish him. Anyway, that's the last I will have for today. And I would want you to reply me so that I'll be here again next week, Friday. My name is Esther Iwab. I leave you with this word. Love goes more than mere physical appearance. And all that glitters are not necessarily gold. This is the end of Magic Court. All time magic continues. I rise. <laughs> Let's it up now. Yeah, I want to give our personal views concerning the matter. Anyway, math start a first offense and I talk the long way. As for me, I know agree. I know agree, math sit down for my, my personal view. I know agree, math sit down for us. Uh, when I don't get doctor's degree, master's degree, bachelor's degree, spinster degree, single degree, uh, HND, OND, all the degrees when I figure for this, I can't sit down for us. Come they born children up and down. Come they bend my husband for me. I know agree. I know agree. Anyway, the man who was going to get married to me, will go first discuss him now before I finally marry. I go work. The man must understand. <laughs> if he loves me, he go make me work. As I, no, you, he, you, he must trust me enough talk, to know wait, that you're I'm, not, about, sorry. I'm not going to go out there and do something stupid. You're yeah. talking about understanding. It now depends the way you channel it to me. Okay, that's that for that. Let me, let me say something. Number one, as a woman, if, if your husband tells you not to work, you just have to be. Number two rule, you go to him, if at all you want to really work, you go to him, talk to him, mm. that this, this, look at the reason why I need to work, you reason about it. Number three, some men out there are very lazy. Mm. Now because we're talking about um, uh, uh, um, um, career as in the woman working and the rest, doesn't mean that you should just sit back and relax and you, you just watch your wife doing everything. You just have, have to contribute your own part as, as a family man, as, a, as the husband of the house. Okay, and not necessarily just chilling because we're talking about a woman working right now. I, I'm not, look my, look my mouth, and I hear that one. You, you have to do something, okay? Yeah, I was actually demonstrating, you so, know. Wait, 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 first. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I, God, I am so sorry. <laughs> it's just that the bad doctor could be too much. I needed, <laughs> I needed to make sure, say, you understand, say, I don't do it level. Ah, wait, I don't do it I'm teaching now. That, that could be know. too much. Ha, ha, eh? Because I'm not speaking, because I've been speaking uh, this thing, <laughs> uh, phonetics, all this while. You're forgetting that I am to maybe the entertainer. Yes. Of course, we're Nigerians. Yo, I'll have a record. It will look well. You see? You see <laughs> speaking Igbo right now. All this while you're doing. Well, it's all good. It's all good. I so that, yeah, that, yeah. that's that for that. Let's, let's, um, let's adhere to this strictly. Yeah, okay, yeah. it's not don't don't enslave any woman. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Don't try uh, to the man do not enslave your woman, yeah. and the woman do not try to act all bassy, try to make him understand. But as a man, actually, she have common sense. May you know, don't talk to me, your wife's done for her. So, no, make sense now. Well, you know, no, make sense. sense. Yeah. All right, that's how we're gonna round it up on Old Town Magic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and we uh, actually saying it's the thing in the good image. She cut up a soul. See you Bye next time, next you. Friday. Bless you. Let it go, oh no Your love, they make